getting myself into really absurd situations, but the way I pull out of situations sometimes is nothing short of miraculous. <laughs> Now this story that I'm about to tell you, I have no idea how I pulled this off. I think I deserve a medal. Like it's honestly incredible. I also feel like this story has a lot of bad messages in it. <laughs> okay, so basically this is what happened. And you may have already seen this story in my vlog. So if you did, this is just like the fuller fleshed out extended version of it. If you didn't, if you would like to see me tell the story while crying at the airport, then click the link in the description below. <laughs> so I just got back from a trip to home, which is Pittsburgh-ish. And I rented a car. Now there is no Uber or Lyft or taxis in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So if you don't have a car, you're either taking buses or you're riding a bike. The bus is terrifying. I don't own a bike. So I rented a car. Prepaid for everything online. Car's good to go. And they keep telling you like the one thing, just make sure you have your driver's license. Make sure you have your driver's license. I'm sure you already know where this story is going. My flight is at 7 a.m. I hang out with my friends the night before. They don't leave until like three. We were just hanging out. And then I had to pack and everything. So I really didn't sleep because I had to leave by 4.30 a.m. to get to my flight for 7 a.m. Now, when I go to airports, I think I said this in another video, I consider myself an expert flyer. I'm so good at packing. I wear very easily slip on and slip offable shoes so that I don't hold everybody up in the security line. I have all my chargers and cords perfectly wrapped up and ready to go. I always have a healthy snack on hand so that I don't eat all the airport junk. I am an amazing traveler, overprepared. However, somehow, of course, this is the one time, the one time I rent a car and I need an ID. I get to the airport, my ID isn't there and my credit card isn't there. Credit card, not a big deal. I have other credit cards, I have debit cards, I have cash, it's fine, but I don't have a driver's license. Now I'm freaking out about it. I'm like, they're not gonna let me through security. So I get to the security line and I'm just like, <laughs> Okay, here we go. I tell the girl, hey, I don't have my license, but I have this credit card and this student ID and they both have my name on it that matches this ticket. She looks at my student ID, which I promised to show my vlog channel and I forgot. So now I'm going to show you. Yes, daddy, tragic. And she says, how old are you? And I said, 25, ma'am. And she said, all right, I'm just gonna have to call my supervisor. Mind you, it's an airport. Everybody's rushing. Everybody's like in a hurry and trying to get to their gates and nobody wants to be standing in security. This guy walks over at this pace. So slow. But like, I can't say anything because he's the man who's gonna let me on the plane. So he comes over to me, he says, do you have anything else with your name on it? I said, yeah. And I gave him my credit card and a student ID. And he said, how old are you? <laughs> and I said, 25. And then he said, do you have anything else with your name on it? And I said, yes. So then I gave him a debit card. And he said, do you have anything else with your name on it? Gave him another credit card. He said, do you have anything else with your name on it? I gave him a checkbook. He said, do you have anything else with your name on it? I gave him an insurance card. So finally he just goes, yeah, she's all right, let her go. So I go through, I'm so happy. I'm like, yes, I nailed it. We're fine, We're, everything's good. Turns out you can fly domestically without an ID. They're just supposed to extra pat down you, which I didn't get one until on the way back. But at this point, I'm like, this is great. All my worries are gone until I land in Pittsburgh and I say, oh, Gabby, you need to get your car and you need a valid driver's license. Woo! So what are we gonna do? So I go down there and I'm being so friendly and it's this amazing, adorable old guy and he's just like, how you doing, sweetheart? You coming or going? You here to see your family? That's so great. How long has it been since you were home? Where do you live? He's so friendly, I love him. So now he says, all right, looks like you're prepaid. All I need is your driver's license. And I said, oh, Here's the thing. And I didn't want to tell him that I never had it because that's just so sketchy. So I'm like, okay, pretend like you had it. So I was like, I had it at LAX. Obviously I needed it to get through security and I must have lost it in security because I don't have it anymore. And he said, oh, honey, I'm sorry, but there's absolutely nothing I can do without a valid driver's license. So I said, oh yeah, like I know that they said that so many times on the website and stuff, but hey, I have a picture of my driver's license on my phone. I have all of this backup stuff. Is there any way you can use this as my driver's license? And he said, no, I'm so sorry it has to be the physical copy. And I was like, are you sure this is the picture? It has the date, it has my birthday, it has my picture. And he said, I'm so sorry, it has to be a valid driver's license. So I'm like, is there anybody else I can talk to? Cause normally if you talk to somebody higher up, then you get a little bit of help. So then he brings out somebody else and I, I give him the spiel and he says, I'm so sorry. There's literally nothing I can do without a valid driver's license. We legally cannot rent you a car without a license. You can take an Uber or a Lyft or a taxi back home. And I said, no, that's not really the problem. I don't mind taking an Uber, but once I get there, we don't have Ubers or Lyfts or taxis in Newcastle. So once I get there, I, I won't 
be able to travel. And they said, I'm so sorry, there's nothing we can do. So I said, is there anybody else I can talk to? So then they bring out this other guy. I'm talking to this guy, he's the manager. So this, this is it. I tell him the story and he said, I'm so sorry, there is no way we can rent you a car. Normally, in this case, they would contact the DMV and the DMV would either fax you over something or verify your identity, but the DMV is closed. It is now 6 p.m. It is a Friday night, so the DMV will not be open until Monday morning. There's no way to verify my identity at all. Now this whole time, I was gradually getting upset, but at this point, I'm just like, breakdown. Full panic attack, hyperventilating, cannot breathe, sobbing, because here's me, okay, I, I generally tend to overreact as it is, surprise, but I also have really bad anxiety, which causes me to catastrophize in my mind. And I'm imagining going home without a car and it's gonna be a disaster and I absolutely cannot go home and I might as well just go back to LAX. And it's just so frustrating. Like I have a, I have a problem when I can't control things. I'm a control freak. Hi, hello, nice to meet you, I'm Gabby. The fact that I couldn't fix this no matter what and it was my mistake. That's what, what was killing me was I couldn't even be mad at anybody. This was my mistake. I was irresponsible, I was careless, I was thoughtless, I left my ID and now I'm stranded at a Pittsburgh airport. So I'm sobbing, panicking, can't breathe, overreacting, can't feel my limbs. I'm freaking out. I'm like, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna be stranded. I'm gonna have a panic attack and my therapist lives in LA. It's getting ugly. There's a spectacle, everybody's looking, but like I am freaking out, I don't know what to do. I'm really bad at dealing with high stress situations. I am not a problem solver. I'm more of a reactor. I'm very emotionally driven. I'm talking to this poor guy. Can you call somebody? Is there a corporate number I can call? Can we do something? Is there anybody else? Like, well, what? I just kept repeating the same thing. I literally can't help you and I'm so sorry, but without a valid driver's license, we cannot give you a car. And I was like, but you don't have to scan it or anything, do you? So this is essentially the same thing. And he said, no, I'm so sorry. I've been working for six years. I've never given anybody a car without a license. I'm sorry, we just can't. So I said, is there anybody else I could talk to? And he said, there's one more person. She's another manager. I can go get her for you, but I promise you, she's going to tell you the same thing. There is absolutely nothing we can do without a valid driver's license. So I said, please go get her. I went and I sat in a chair and I sobbed my little heart out, Indian style. <laughs> Snapchatted me crying and I'm sitting there for like 10 15 minutes And I'm getting ready to give up and go and take an uber home when I see him walking over with a lady and I'm like Okay, let's do this. So this woman comes over to me and she's the sweetest woman in the entire world And she goes honey. I I heard what happened. Why don't you tell me a little more about it for the whole spiel? I, I can't go home without a car. I lost my license at LAX and basically, I don't know what to do. And she said, that is really a pickle. It's just so hard because we really need that license. She said, I know, honey. What if you go on the DMV website and pull up your information? And then she was like, you know what? You probably don't know your license number, do you? And I was like, I have a picture of it. And she said, you have a picture of your license? And I said, yeah. And she said, great. And she took my phone from me and she like searched it. And then she had me put in my information and I put it in all my information. And lo and behold, my name came up. And now all my information's here. She looked at this guy and she goes, you know what, honey? We never, ever, ever have done this and will never do this again, but take this information out to the cop, have her run this information. If her license comes up as valid, then go ahead and give her the car based on the picture of her ID. He literally said, are you serious? He had just gotten done telling me for 45 minutes minimum, there is absolutely not a snowflakes chance in hell. Any possibility of me giving you a car without a valid driver's license. Nobody here can help you. Go home, little girl. I talked to this woman for five minutes and she gave me a car. I felt so bad for the guy because honestly, I would hate me. He was such a great guy. He was just doing his job. I feel so bad. He had to like take me out to the cop and stand with me with the cop and then hand me keys after this debacle. I felt like, I honestly felt bad about it, but like I, I really needed a car, I didn't know what to do. And I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. And I drove that little rental car for a week and it was great. If you're wondering, the moral of this story is never give up, keep trying, try to find a way, persevere. Just kidding. The moral of the story is if you cry enough in public, people will do anything they can to shut you the f up. So while getting home was very chaotic and stressful and hard, I really did have an amazing, amazing time with my family and my little siblings. I only get to see them about twice a year. So it's always great to see them. And just like hang out with them and go to the pool or go to the mall or something. There's not much to do in my hometown. So one thing that I really like to do with them when I go home is go to the movies. But what's really cool right now is I actually teamed up with AMC and Coca-Cola for an exclusive teen offer for a $5 Coke and popcorn at AMC theaters. So that's right, $5 
for a Coke and a popcorn. All you need is your middle school or your high school school ID. School, 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 school. And also, if you purchase the cup grade, as they call it, you will be able to unlock a super secret exclusive Snapchat filter with the code on the cup. This is good through August 14th. So if you're a moviegoer and you're a teen, buy Dallas, Coke and popcorn, holla. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and make sure to check out that vlog channel and my other social media. And it's time for Showstopper of the week. This week's showstopper is Grace. First of all, let me mention the fact that I'm so thrilled at the fact that so many of you put the word underdog in your name. I just think that's so cute. I don't know who started that, but it's adorable. But this girl is just so, so super supportive and amazing. Her name's Gabby's Princess for crying out loud and her entire page is just supporting me. She likes and retweets like everything I post immediately. She's just amazing. So thank you, baby girl, for all of your support. You are so incredible. Everybody go show her some love. As always, I love you very much. Thank you for being a part of my family and I'll see you next time. Fingers on my side.